previous semester, we're having an interview. And so you bring your outline to the interview, and you can bring a hard copy of it. You can use your notes in the outline, the book, anything. It's a conversation you have with me, a short conversation, in which I will ask you a number of questions uh, concerning what we discussed today, uh, how you deconstructed Damien and what you did, and you explain your, your, um, your outline to me. The outline must have been submitted through Moodle online by the time you walk into the interview. Okay? But you can still bring a hard copy with you or your computer, and, and then we'll talk about it. Your outline should be maybe, what, two, three, four pages long. Some people write something longer. Uh, less than two pages, I'd be very wary of anything that short. Okay? And um, you know, you create an outline that makes sense to you. Um, I'm not, there is no right or wrong. I op I'm open to any format you bring with you. You know, some people are really detailed. Others create more sections and fewer detail in each section. But something that the question is: Was Damien a hero, or, or, or was he not, and why? And then you have to use all of these techniques to. Basically, the fundamental question is, would I do that? Would I, what, would I do what he did? Would anyone else did? In his circumstances, if those things happened to me or to the other person, would I, in the end, end up doing what he did? Well, I don't know. Well, let's see what other people did who were close to him, who were in his circumstances. Did they do the same thing? Or, or why did he do what he did? Was there a time at which pretty much everyone else would have withdrawn, but he stayed on, and maybe it was that little moment, that little yes, that made him a real hero. That's, those are the questions you need to ask yourself and see what information you find in the book. You can resort to outside information as well. There's plenty of information on Damien on the internet, and there are movies, Damien movies, you can watch those. You know, the more stuff you, you are exposed to, the probably the better your conversation with me will be and your outline as well. Okay? Any other questions you may have on Damien? Um, look, for example, at the relatives of the lepers who went to live with their leper relatives at the colony. Well, aren't they heroes as well? You can make that case as well. Of course, Damien didn't have any relative in there, but <coughs> One question is, we don't even know when Damien contracted leprosy. Did he contract it at the, at the colony while working with the lepers? That's, that's the, the, the official version we have. But leprosy is a disease that takes many years to show, even up to 20 years. So he may have gotten it outside the colony before he went to the colony. Did he know or suspect he may have had leprosy? And if he did, does that make him less of a hero by, by making the decision to go to the colony? Well, maybe not. I mean, if you were to find out you have AIDS, for example, and it's, it's, going, to sh it's going to show at some time, would you want to go and live at, a, at, a, at an institution with AIDS people, let's say, back in the 90s when they were dying by the day, and see them how, to, how they die, how much they suffer, and see what's awaiting you? I think it requires a real hero to do that. So, in my opinion, so if he, if he knew he had contracted leprosy, his decision to go to the colony, in my personal opinion, and you may disagree, does not make him less of a hero. I'm not saying he knew he had it, but even if he did, because he was, you know, he would take the chance to well, have a few more years to enjoy before they find out, so I'm not going to, I don't want to have anything to do with this, but rather if that was the case. Okay? I'm not saying it was, but if it was the case that he knew. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can make inferences and assumptions. Okay. Yeah, as long as you justify them, that's fine. Um, as far as the grade is concerned, are we actually getting graded on the outline because you want us to submit it, or is it just something that? No, no, you get graded on the outline. Yes, on the outline and the and the interview, both things, fifty-fifty. Now, be sure, for everyone, be sure to have read the book in full, intense reading, meaning not just going not going over the pages but to actually read the book from beginning to end. 
it's no excuse when someone walks into the interview and they say, oh, it's just, I just had a few pages left and I, you just asked me right from, I know exactly where to ask from to find out if a person read the book or not. So if you hear that voice in the back of your mind telling you, yeah, right, you know, we'll, we'll read a little bit, but you know, don't trust that voice because I know exactly what questions to ask and I will find out. And when I find out, you're damned for eternity. That's it. There's no, no way out of it. Your, dro your grade drops 50% automatically. No, it's 50-50. 50-50, okay, thank you. That's why if you haven't read the book, if I find out you haven't read the book in full, your grade starts at 50. It's just the outline. Just the outline. And of course, the outline without having read the book is not going to be a 50 either. Yeah, obviously. Okay, okay so uh, again, my advice is go over the recorded lecture, the separate recording that you have for Damien. That's much more detailed as far as guidance with the book gives you page numbers, and it gives you more examples, okay? Any other questions? Do you have any other questions? No more questions? Okay, so thank you very much, and um, I hope you enjoyed this class this semester, and that you will remember some useful information from it for the future. <laughs>